have been just dealing with the distract. I know y'all been kind of dealing with distractions and chatter about coach's future and everything all year, but how tough is it going to be particularly this week with everything that's going on? I mean, I feel like it's something that you just learn to. It's not really change. It's something you just learn to block out when you come into this complex. When we in this complex, we just focus on football, and that's what we're doing here. We here, we on the practice field. We in the complex. We focus on football and preparing for our opponent. Just when you're walking around on campus, how much y'all y'all hear that stuff? I mean, you hear a little bit of it, but a lot of people on this campus are real great. They want to support us as much as they can. Thank you. Let's talk about Vanderbilt a little bit, what you've seen from them. I mean, did you watch them play in the games this year? Yeah, I watched them play, and they have, they have a nice defense. They have a good defense, and they play really hard. And that's something that we're going to have to focus on this week is just matching their intensity. How, how much is there a sense of urgency for winning these last two so you guys can get a ball game? I mean, it's very high on this football team. We feel like, you know, these are two wins we have to get. And we're just going to go out here and prepare our best to do them. I don't feel like anybody's going to go out there and try to do anything Superman, but we're just trying to do our jobs and do it efficiently and do it correctly and go out there and execute so we can win these last two. We're in, we in the same state, so it's always going to be a little bad blood right there. It's both teams in, from Tennessee, so it's going to be a good rivalry game. You think they're going to talk about it last year? I mean, the video of Dooley being tossed up in the air, you guys celebrated. You think it's going to get talked about a lot on their end? I feel like any coach would use that, you know, to motivate his team. So I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I already know it is. So um, probably, they probably are using that. What was practice like today? I felt like it was good. We were going out there to get a first – it was first time to get a good look at them on the field and what things we think we're going to be – think that they're going to be doing. So I feel like it was good to get out there and, get a good look at it. Well, I feel like it's become a lot more heated. I feel like he's really put emphasis on it, and they've been having some good football teams, so I feel like it's going to be a real good game to go out there and play and see who can come out on top. How important do you think it is to to continue that kind of dominance Tennessee's had over them in, in the recent years, especially in light of maybe you guys aren't having the success you thought you would at the beginning of the season? Yeah, I feel like in a season like this where things haven't been always been going our way, I feel like it's going to be big. Nonetheless, regardless of the opponent, we need to win these last two games. And let it be an in-state team is making it even a bigger rivalry. It's going to be a really important game for us. And as Vanderbilt's gotten more competitive, Last do you think question. that's good for the, the state? And, and to have a marquee matchup like this when you think of maybe Alabama-Auburn or Georgia-Georgia Tech or Florida-Florida State? Yeah, I feel like it's great. I feel like it's great for the fans. It's great for us because it makes us go out there and make a more heated football game.